Hey everyone, this is Pablo from Salto and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Salto's free tier so that you can use the where is this use functionality for any field whether it is a standard or custom. So let's say that I'm a Salesforce admin and I've been assigned a ticket that says that something is updating the opportunity stage field to a value that is not desired. So I've been asked to find what automations are actually editing or inserting a value on the opportunity stage name field. So there are two ways to do that with Salto. So the first step is to search for the field here. So I'm going to type in stage name and here we have the field. Now what we're seeing here is a low code view of the opportunity stage field. So we can see all the properties here. And if we scroll down, we can see all the places where the field is being used. I can see it is using four layouts, two validation rules, two field updates, and two workflow rules. What's really nice about this as well is I can expand this and see exactly how it is being used by one of the validation rules. Let's say I'm going to open this one up, click on it. And again, we see a low code view of the validation rule where I see here that the opportunity stage name field is being used as the error display field. The other way we can do this is go into the content tab and basically this does a full metadata search across your entire org. So here the interesting bits would be to find where the field is used within Apex classes. So if I open these classes here, the good thing is I can see a quick preview of which classes are using that field and I can see how many times the field is being used within that class. So let's open up this one here because it looks like the most interesting one. And then I can see a preview of where the field is used within the code. This is much better than me having to browse through the entire code and see if the code is updating or maybe just reading from that field. So very quickly, I can see here there are two locations where we are assigning a value to the opportunity stage name and there is another one here. And that's it. Just like that, I was able to find three pieces of automation that are updating the standard opportunity stage name field. Now I can go back to my ticket and continue working on it.